So you say you want more narrations? Good God. All right, why not? Uh, this one's against a guy named uh, Jordan. That's the only way I can really identify him. And it's an OU match. I'm just bringing some... Uh, I just brought a grab bag, honestly. Uh, like, I, I've never even used this Mesprit before, except in, like, one UU match before. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to see some interesting things. Uh, so I'm leading off with Amber Palm. It's a good lead. It's got Taunt. It's got Fake Out. can do a lot of things. This Crobat, who's not unusually bulky, but it's fairly bulky, and I completely forget about Inner Focus because I'm dumb. But I'm, luckily for me, he just went for Super Fang rather than Brave Bird, which honestly would have killed me. So... I'm thinking, well, that was dumb. Why did I do that? Uh, he goes for Roost, which is a really, really weird play, I thought. Maybe he thought I'd be faster or something, but no, not really. I'm just going to go for double hit, and that's going to do more damage than the Roost took off. So, uh, Plus, I was expecting to bite the dust there. I just stayed in for that extra hit, just in case. But he's going to withdraw now and go into Swampert to take my, du my repeated double hits, which he's expecting. But I decided at that point I wanted to save that uh, Ambipom just for Fake Out, because... You know, fake out from a, of an Ambipom is really, really awesome. And he brings in a Gengar, so I'm thinking, why didn't you go to this in the first place, dude? Um, he, however, gets the, uh, the better of that double switch that I uh, orchestrated there. I just set up my rocks because I don't really care about this Mesprit, and I honestly thought I would be able to take that. But, of course, I can't take a crit um, hit from a Gengar, so that really sucks. And I'm thinking maybe he specs because like I thought I'd be able to live that a little bit. So I go to Blissey because Blissey can... Uh, take Shadow Balls all day for sure, and even if it wants to Focus Blast, I can probably take it out if it's not the sub split set, which it probably isn't since it doesn't have Life Orb. Uh, I just went for T Wave, um, hoping that he doesn't sub, and he didn't. He went into Crobat, which is awesome to get T Waved, and I thought that a, you know, um, an S Toss would kill it, but uh, unfortunately, no, he, I guess he could have known that when he stayed in. And he just goes for Super Fang, which, you know, it's going to take Bliss right down there. I don't know why he didn't Brave Bird. It probably would have done more than half. I guess it depends on how much attack investment he has, but I guess it can't be that much if he's running Super Fang. So, another Rust Off finishes it off. I could have Soft Boiled uh, over and over and over and over until he got paralyzed, but, you know, I didn't really feel like doing that. In comes the Purt again, so I know the thing wants to EQ or Waterfall or do something annoying. Or set up Stealth Rocks, so I go to Minon, because uh, it does have Focus Sash, and I kind of want to get in before the Rocks. Uh, which I actually end up doing, and I go for Grass Knot. I, th I thought I'd be able to take it out. Well, I don't know why I thought that. That was a really dumb thought process to have. I should have known that an unboosted uh, Grass Knot wouldn't KO. Uh, so that really sucks. Uh, he doesn't have um, Crobat anymore, so I'm thinking he doesn't have very many Grass Resists left. So I'm just going to stay in and keep going for the, you know, with the Grass Knot, uh, because he probably doesn't have another resist. Um, he, actually, he actually does. He goes into Sizer, which kind of sucks, but, you know, no big deal. Actually, I didn't do that. I went for Hidden Power. I think it's Ice. Uh, I'm going to see in a second. Nope, it's not Ice. I'm, I don't know what Hidden Power that is, but it was neutral to Sizer, so it's one of those types. Uh, <laughs> it just shows, shows how much I've used that thing. I made it as a joke for Gold Rules, too. Uh, he went for an SD on the switch. I don't know why I switched. I guess I could keep the min on as fodder. I was expecting bullet punch, and I didn't. I guess I wanted to keep it as fodder. That's what I did. Anyways, um, I know Starmie is bulky enough, naturally, to be able to live a plus two bullet punch, and I thought that I'd be able to take it out with a surf. Fortunately, not the case. Um, however, he's going to succumb to his own life orb damage. Um, even if he had roost, he couldn't go for it, because that would just be the same thing. And here comes the pert again, so... On the double down, I went into Ampapom because, you know, it's an awesome thing to send in on double downs. And I honestly thought right there that he'd go to Gengar fearing the fake out, but he didn't. He just stayed in with for Roar, so my Shadow Claw doesn't finish off the Swampert. Um, and now I'm kind of stuck because I got the Swampert in here. Uh, it is almost dead, so there's that, but it can still deal a fair amount of damage to this Blissey. I can't T-Wave or anything, so I could Soft Boiled and just stay in here all day long and be annoying... Um, however, I don't really want to do that. That's really, really lame to do. So I'm just going to hit him with a counter, <laughs> just, to be, just to be cool. S-Toss was definitely the right play, but I want it to be flashy. So and now he knows he has, I have counter bliss, but now he has to deal with it. So in comes Immense, and I didn't know that he was bringing Immense beforehand. I didn't tell him he could. It is Uber, but you know it's, it's a Dragonite, pretty much. 
So he's going to stay in here, and I'm thinking, well, I'm I'm screwed because if his dragon claw takes me out, um, you know, I've got nothing that can really handle this thing because this is OU. However, he decides to be a little bit risky and goes for a Draco Meteor. Uh, this Blissey does have a fair amount of special defense investment, like a little bit more than no most have. So I'm able to live that Draco Meteor with five hit points, uh, which no joke, that's the lowest I think I've ever had a Blissey survive. And I'm able to hit him with a T-Wave, and that's really, really amazing because and now I'm actually going to be able to handle this thing um, when before it would have swept me. So like that, that was the game. Like I have my own Dragonite, but Salamence is naturally faster, assuming that he is, well, he's probably, he's mixed, it looks like, so... Um, Dragonite actually might have been faster, but it would have been close, because I think he's 100 and Dragonite's 80, or 81. No, Gear is 81. So Dragonite's 80. Um, it would have been close, and now he's just firing off Outrages, but I don't really care, because Blissey can take those all day and just soft-boiled up until uh, he p puts pretty much himself into Parafusion mode. And that's going to be awesome. So he's paralyzed, he's confused, he's he's going to hit himself at some... or get... Con or um, get fully paralyzed at some point, so I'm just going to keep soft-boiling until that happens. Even if he gets a crit, I well, I'll probably die, but I do have Dragonite to come in and take it out, or get a dance up for free. Um, yeah, he actually... is that a crit? Yeah, that looks like a crit right there. Yes, yeah, so he does get a crit. I can't live a crit, apparently, but I do have Dragonite. I do have other things to deal with it now. Uh, in comes Ambipom, right? I wanted to... I knew I could live the Stealth Rocks, so I just wanted to come in, and I thought he'd go to Gengar again, so I went for Shadow Claw again. Uh, I'm going to die anyways, no big deal. I should have probably faked out and killed it, but now I'm able to go into my own Dragonite, and he is minus two special attack. I could set up a, d a Dragon Dance and probably do okay, but I figure, well, looking at what he's got left, I should be fine anyways. Uh, in comes the Empoleon that I haven't seen yet. I'm going to be able to hit that thing with an Earthquake, and that'll be able to kill it. And all that's left is his Gengar, and all that's left is my Dragonite. So, um, this is it. This is It comes down to whether I can not I can live a Shadow Ball from it. I don't know if he's Specs, Scarf, uh, Lefties, whatever, but uh, it's going to come down to whether I can live this. And after all that bullshit <laughs> with the... Uh, the Salamence not getting confused, not getting paralyzed, not doing anything, in fact getting a crit, uh, this is what it comes down to. Like, Blissey would have been able to handle this thing easily, but fortunately for me, he is not specced. I'm able to live at 41 HP and hit him with an Outrage, which fortunately takes him out. So if his, um, if his Shadow Ball had done 9 more HP, because I live with 9 after Life Orb Recoil, uh, or his Draco Meteor with Salamence had done 5 more HP on Bliss, I would that would have been it right there, so... That's a really, really close game. I had Minin left, but it was dead to rocks, so that wasn't doing anything. Um, plus, it's slower, so... Um, really, really good game. Uh, I don't really appreciate bringing Ubers, but it was immense. It's it's a Dragonite, pretty much. So, uh, there was that, and... Um, yeah, so... I'm recording. I'm kind of recording for a RU series, even though I don't like 5th Gen, blah, but... Um, you know... RU's, RU's okay. RU's kind of fun, but you know, I'm, I don't have any Wi-Fi until next Sunday. So, not yesterday, but next Sunday. So, because I have to get my Wi-Fi adapter in the mail, which came to it went, which was mailed to my house, not my uh, residence room. So, that was kind of lame. Anyways, um, some of you have already found my Twitter account. I guess I'll post a link to that in my description here, in case you want to follow me on Twitter for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so there's those two things, and yes, I will see you all next time. You know, the 500 of you that are actually still here and actually still watch my things.